I got an email from a good friend and they asked, Hey Brad, when the Microsoft trial is over, how do I provision a capacity in Azure and attach it to my Power BI workspace? Great question. And today we're going to cover just that on Tales from the Field. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. This is your first time finding your way over to Tales from the Field. Give us a like and give us a subscribe. We drop content every Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. On Monday, we drop our MS Tech Tips. On Tuesday, we drop our Azure Data Community Roundtable which features contents by the creators in the Azure Data community for the Azure Data community. And then on Wednesday, we drop another MS Tech Bits. That's where we get inspiration from you, the community, our friends, product groups, working with the customer. Anyway, let's get over to that great content right now. Now, there's a couple things that I want to talk about first. In the architectural setup that I have, I already have an M365 account with an intra ID, formerly Azure Active Directory, connected to an Azure subscription. So I've got this in place. There's two different ways that I can actually go and provision a fabric capacity. First up, I can go into the Azure portal. Now that I'm in the Azure portal, what I can do is I can go up into the search bar and I can type in Fabric or Microsoft Fabric, and you'll see under services, the preview is accessible. From right there, I can go and I can create. I can also go to the Power BI portal. In the Power BI portal, I need to go to the admin portal. Then I'm gonna to go to capacity settings. Under capacity settings, when it loads, I'll be able to look at my different settings. I'm gonna to go to fabric capacity and then purchase. That's gonna put me back into the Azure portal. It'll launch a window directly into my subscription. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna select a resource group I created earlier. Uh, and then I'm going to name the, fa uh, the fabric capacity. It needs to be unique and all lowercase, B ball my fabric capacity. I'm going to change the size because I'm literally just going to provision this in a demo and then delete it. I'm going to make sure that I am registered as the fabric capacity administrator. This is an important step. We need to make sure we've got that person labeled so that way they can assign the capacity. And then I'm going to click next. I'm going to add a very simple tag something along the lines of POC, point of contact, Bradley Ball. Anybody who looks at this thing is going to come to me. Uh, then I click Create. Very quickly, my capacity is going to be provisioned. And once it is provisioned, I can go back over to the Power BI portal. So back in the portal, what I'm going to do is I can see my capacity is in place. Now I need to assign it. I've got a workspace, but I only provision this workspace as a Power BI Pro workspace. So let's assign it to our capacity. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to select my test fabric capacity, and then I'm going to go to the three dots on the workspace, and I'm going to go to reassign workspace. After this comes up, I'm going to select fabric capacity down at the bottom, and you'll see there's my capacity, B-ball, my fabric capacity. I'm going to click Save. Now what I can do is I can go to the home settings on Power BI. I can go into my workspace. And the first thing that I want to do is I want to go up to new and I want to validate that I've got access to the different fabric capacity items. And there we go. I see my data engineering. I see my data factory, uh, my data warehousing, all the information that tells me I am truly in my F Microsoft fabric capacity. Now, I flip back over to the Azure portal, and I can look at a few things. I can look at capacity administration. If I need to add a new capacity administrator, we've got our quick start. I can also change the size. Flipping back over to Power BI, I want to clean this up now, right? We provisioned it. Let's clean it up. So I'm going to go to Workspace Settings. I'm going to change this uh, workspace to continue to work with the trial so I can continue to use it, or I can just delete the workspace. But now I'm going to come back and I'm going to go to my admin portal again, uh, and I'm going to go to capacity. Now, you'll notice if you try and do this within the Power BI portal, what it's going to do when we go to our fabric capacity, it's going to say, hey, if you want to uh, manage this, manage it in the Azure portal. So that's where we should have been to begin with. So it will open up a new window or we can flip back. We can select our fabric capacity and then we're just going to click delete. Uh, all we have to do now is type in the name of our fabric capacity and we click delete and there we go. We've cleaned it up. Magic, right? We now know how to deploy and clean up Microsoft Fabric. 
So what did we cover? Well, we covered a lot, right? We covered how we actually provision uh, fabric capacity, how we assign it to a workspace within our Power BI tenant, and then how we clean it up and uh, we can clean it up or modify it through the Azure portal. It, something to keep in mind, remember you need to be a fabric capacity administrator in order to be able to assign a fabric capacity within a Power BI workspace. So that is a key permission that you're going to need. You know where we like to keep this going, right? Down in the comments, sound off. Uh, any questions, anything that wasn't clear? We really appreciate you spending your time with us today. Thank you so much and be good to one another. After preparation, good food, good mood, blood in circulation. One step at a time, yeah,